Hello, beautiful internet people. I'm going to show you how to crackle this tumbler. This is how the tumbler will look when I'm finished showing you how to make the crackle effect on a tumbler. This is how the cup will look with graphics on it. Uh, these are the graphics that I designed for this cup myself. Um, they are available on the Zazanome Designs Etsy shop if you would like the graphics. And the cup is also for sale on both the Zazanome Designs Etsy shop and Facebook page. <laughs> This is Laura with Zaza Gnome Designs. Um, I thought I'd do just a quick tutorial on how I do the crackle method. Um, I've, I've noticed a lot of people's crackles are uh, done just a little bit, to, maybe not all of them, but some of them are done different than mine. Um, and what you'll need for uh, doing the crackle method is you'll need something to crackle. In this case, I have this uh, pre-prepped tumbler it's a stainless steel tumbler um, and it's prepped with black and the reason that it's prepped with black is because the color that I want to show through the crackle is black for this particular application and I um, am gonna put white paint over it so it's gonna be a, a, a really stark contrast between the crackle paint color and the the cracked areas of the paint. So that's why I chose black. You can do any color that you like, um, but this is the color that I chose. I'm also gonna be using uh, Elmer's Glue All. There is um, crackle medium that's available out there. I just use this. I have tried the cheaper Crazy Art school glue kind of glue. I wasn't as pleased with the results. Um, and. <laughs> Considering it's only a dollar more for this little bottle than it was for the other one, and then we're talking a dollar twenty-four total, um, I went ahead and and used the the glue all because well you can actually get it in really big things too, but it works. The other thing I'm going to be using is the paint color. Um, you can use for a white. You can use the apple apple barrel white you know, chalk white, it's not going to matter on this particular application because I'm going to be putting epoxy over it, so it's all going to be glassy. Um, but whatever it is that you have for a white paint, if you want to, if you want to give this technique a try, um, is fine. All right, and so we're just going to get started with putting the glue on, and hopefully my glue top hasn't completely, yep, I had a little little bit of glue stuck to the top there and all I'm gonna do is put the glue right on the cup I'm just gonna squeeze it out now for this particular cup I'm only I'm not gonna worry so much about the bottom um, I put decals on my bottoms um, but if you are you want to if you are going to paint the bottom you want to make sure that you add glue to the bottom I find that it's harder to get this look um, with a painted bottom because you end up putting product around the end and this way you get it and it's just all one stroke and so all I'm doing is is I'm spreading this glue around with strokes straight up and down that's it and then as I need more I just add more glue It doesn't matter what kind of paintbrush you use. I don't think it's just that the strokes going in the same direction are kind of important, I think. It seems to be, at least when it dries and cracks and all that kind of stuff, it seems to be that the strokes um, help dictate the direction of the cracks, with the exception of gravity, which I'll, I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, a lot of times people will will let these sit on their um, drying racks and I've noticed at least when I do it that gravity especially with the amount of paint that you're um, it, it's not so much when you're doing the um, the glue you can put it on a drying drying rack for the glue 
as it, because you have to let that part dry first, not, not completely dry, but just till it's tacky. And so what you want to do is when you're putting the paint on, you put so much paint on it that um, if you leave it in a drying rack, gravity will naturally start to pull on the paint. And especially the way that this technique is done, there tends to be a little bit more um, pull on the cracks themselves, which gives it like really big gaps. And I don't particularly find that to be appealing for the way that I do it. If you like that, then definitely do it that way. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with the glue coverage on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait maybe 10 minutes or so. This side right here looks a whole lot more uh, ready to go than, or going to take a little bit longer than this side. So I want to keep an eye on this side of it. Um, but what you want to do is you don't want it to get too, sh you don't want the whole thing to get shiny like the tacket. You want it to dry just enough to be tacky where when you put the paint on, it doesn't pull the glue with it. So I'm going to put this aside and stop the video here um, and then we'll come back. Okay, so um, the glue isn't quite ready yet, um, but what I did was I went ahead and I put my cup on a turner. Um, I have one that has an adjustable, let me scoot it forward just a little bit so you can see. I have one that has an adjustable um, uh, motor, so um, you just turn it one way and then it'll turn the other way. Um, you can also pull on it too and it'll do that as well. Um, but I find it easiest to actually apply the paint while it's on the turner um, and then to let the paint dry while it's turning. And what that does is it prevents the, um, it prevents the paint from pulling um, in this direction, in the, well, in the direction that you would um, have it going, in the direction of gravity, I guess you could say. Um, and as you can see right here, this glue is still kind of thick, but overall I think it's just about ready. It's just about ready for some paint. So I think I'm going to start over here. And I forgot to mention one thing. One optional, one optional item you can use with this is a hair dryer, and I'll show you that when we get to that part. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, as generously as possible, put... Um, white paint on the cup without overdoing the brush stroke. So just kind of going all the way down, making sure the cup has good coverage. And I'm trying not to overdo it with my brush strokes, but I do want to make sure the entire cup is covered as best as possible. Also, I'm not going on the bottom because that's not the look that I want for this cup. You can already kind of see there's some, there's some chunks here that I'm not liking. So I'm going to try to get those out. It may be that it's my paint and not the glue, but... I want to avoid as many big chunks of paint as possible. Yeah, it's kind of pulling in the glue a little bit there. That's okay. I think it'll be all right. All right. Just making sure that the tops and bottoms got good coverage here. And I'm going to turn the turner on. See if there's any spots that I missed. And I can already see that the crackle effect is starting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paintbrush in some water and I'm going to go ahead and use the hair dryer. You don't have to use a hair dryer. This just kind of speeds up the process and you definitely don't want to overdo it with the hair dryer. 
So I'm going to put it on heat, high heat and it's going to make noise. So. So I already see where it's it's got a good crackle effect going. You can see where these cracks are. See these cracks right here and right here. Those actually get worse if when the cup, at least for me, have gotten bigger when the cup has been um, uh, put on a drying rack. So I'm going to let the cup turn, um, and then I will show you the final result of the crackle. Okay, so the tumbler's had a chance to dry, and um, it is... Pretty much done doing its crackle business and then so I wanted to show you what it looks like there's a couple of spots on here um, that I'm I'm gonna sand down I'm gonna use uh, some 400 grit sandpaper to do that very carefully um, if you want to you can add even more distressing with sandpaper but um, I'm not going to do that I'm gonna be as careful as possible with that so let me find the spot that I want to sand here there it is if I can stop it turn it around here so there's a little spot right there so I'm going to try to get it with my sandpaper and that's good Let's see if there's any other spots I feel One little spot here and I'm just feeling over it because what I'm gonna end up doing is epoxying over this before I do any kind of graphic work on it um, but uh, before I do that I am gonna seal it just to make sure that the epoxy doesn't get up underneath the acrylic paint that I used um, it's not uh, a multi-surface paint so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen and what I usually use is um, either uh, the Krylon, this is a clear gloss, or you can use the matte finish, it's not going to matter Oops. once it's under epoxy which one you use. Um, it's just a matter of preference what you want, what you want to use. All right, that's it. Now I've let the clear coat dry. Um, I used a matte clear coat on this. Um, I've let this dry, I think... Uh, it's probably been about an hour or so. Um, I didn't put multiple coats on here because I didn't think that was necessary. Just just one good coat. Um, I'm sorry, two good coats um, was all I thought would, would be needed for this particular um, painting style. So now I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna uh, put a layer of epoxy on it. And um, then this cup will cure overnight and um, hopefully be ready. Uh, at least for graphics in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So the way that I put the epoxy on, and I've got more mixed here than I'm going to use on this cup because I've got others to do, but um, the way that I do this is I just kind of start at the top and um, just kind of pour just a little bit out. So I make sure that I get the top covered. And I've got a, uh, whoops, just a little bit too much of epoxy on there. That's okay. Um, and I try to bring it down the cup so that I get full coverage. And I've got a styrofoam cup on the top there that I'm going to take off once I get all the epoxy on. And that just helps me keep my, um, my cup clean inside um, as best as I can. Um, I know that's, uh, that's an issue for, for me anyway to have a lot of junk inside the cup I don't like that especially not the spray paint don't want to get spray paint in there so I'm just gonna um, continue trying to do that down the cup to get it fully covered 
And this doesn't need a very thick coat. Of course, this would be the seal coat anyway um, for the epoxy process, but this doesn't need a very thick coat um, because the paint is not, uh, it's not making big grooves in the crackle. So it's not like glitter. You don't need a really, really thick coat. And even if it, it fishes, fish eyes a little bit, it's not that big of a deal unless it does it in a spot where you're going to put your graphics, then you might have to put an extra coat of epoxy. And now I'm just going to go up and down the cup and make sure the whole cup is covered. And then finally, I'm going to do the bottom part and, and seal that as well. Even though I didn't put any uh, crackle effect down there, I want to I want to start sealing this up. Now I'm just going around the rim of the cup, trying to make sure that that whole top is covered because when I get done with this coat, I am going to be sanding the top, just the top part, um, just a little bit so that the paint isn't going all the way to the top of the cup. And it looks like I got a stray piece of paint in there. All right, and now I'm going to leave it for just a, about maybe 10 minutes or so, um, and then I'm going to come back and hit it with some heat. So I will get started with that. Okay, so I've applied all my decals to my crackled cup, which has um, the epoxy is cured on it, and um, I've applied all my decals. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention was that what you want to do at the end before you do your next or your seal coat of epoxy um, is to basically sand a very fine line around here so that you can seal your paint inside of the epoxy um, and so it doesn't get inside of the cup I use I use a styrofoam cup to to prevent as much of it as possible. Some some of it's going to get on the rim here, even with doing that. Um, so, which is fine because what you want to do is actually sand sand this very lightly down. And so all you have to do is go around like this. And you will make in, in, until it's back down to the metal on this part and um, you have a fine line it's very hard to see it I don't know if I can get it close enough it's just a very very faint little line around here so that the epoxy can get up and over that um, when you do your final coat and I oh, I forgot to weed that out so I'm gonna weed this out weed this D out and um, and then I'm gonna put my final coat of epoxy and that's how you do a crackle cup one thing that I want to mention now that the cup is, is actually on the turner here, um, I've got a combination of water slides um, and vinyl on here. I've got printable vinyl, I've got cut vinyl, um, and a water slide on this particular tumbler. So what I like to do to make sure everything stays down, especially the water slides, water slides tend to float up on me under epoxy. So, and I can see it's happening right there. Um, 
so the first thing I do is I make sure everything is is secure and down and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some polycrylic which I have in here um, it's just the min wax I don't have the let me get the jar here So it's the Min Wax Polycrylic. It's a, a clear gloss finish. Um, I like to use that to seal um, everything, and it makes it, um, it, it doesn't take long for this to dry. Give it about an hour, um, and it will be ready to go for um, your epoxy, and it, it just, I don't know, it just helps me keep everything in place. So in case anybody was wondering, so I'm going to fix that water slide and um, I'll be back. Okay, so I've I've made the um, I fixed the little area of the water slide. I must have peeled it up when I was touching the cup. Um, it would probably be I tried to sand it before um, the uh, before putting the decals on, but I wanted to show you that how to sand it. So I think I must have hit it or something. So I fixed that water slide where it came up just a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to start applying the polycrylic. Okay, so it's been probably more than an hour. It's been a couple hours since um, I actually put uh, polycrylic on here to seal all this. Um, I'm just running my hand over it just to make sure that everything is, is staying in place. Everything is. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do my epoxy now on this tumbler, and this should be the last coat. Turn the direction here. There we go. So now I'm moving down the cup because I tend to get um, less coverage at the end of my cup than at the top. Um, and I want it to kind of just barely seal in the paint at the top. So I'm trying to make sure that it is got full coverage on here. Also try to push out some of those bubbles on the sand.
I've come back to it and I'm really happy with um, the whole look of the the tumbler it's it's very um, there I, I can't see any bubbles in it of course it could be my eyes I'm not uh, you know a, a young chicken anymore um, but it looks really good and I'm really happy with it hopefully there's nothing that come, come no no bubbles that come up while it's curing but I'm gonna let this turn for um, uh, about six to eight hours at least before I take it off the turner to continue curing um, these take about 72 hours to, to get to a full cure um, but before I do that uh, before I leave it alone I'm gonna take this off um, very carefully this is just a styrofoam cup that I have um, cut the bottom off of and it's it makes it really nice I can just take that off and I don't have much cleanup to do in there um, and it's all done um, there are some silicone versions of this um, this is just what works for me right now um, I'm sure those are probably a better solution than this but uh, this is what I had on hand and this is an option for you um, any questions let me know in the comments y'all have a fabulous day namaste <laughs>